Let's do this, right? Go on, three, two, oh, I've rolled already. Oh, oh, mate. Oh, nat 20 again! Did you actually roll nat 20? Yeah! You bastard, I rolled a 90. I'm a savage! I actually, I rolled a 90. Pure, pure I, savage. I, I, I was like, I've won you. I was like, 19. What's he gonna do? What is he gonna Not do? Not when he rolls out nat 20. <laughs> rolls another nat 20. That is disgusting, mate. Mate, that's two now. That two look, nat the look 20s. is ridiculous. Mate. This is, this is, this is. Mate, I started punching and not making a noise. <laughs> you were just doing air boxing, shadow boxing, or whatever it's called. Ass, 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 ass. <laughs> <laughs> so, welcome back to Mate, Bad we, of the we Ranger. Do need, I think we should get a camera. I think because of the actions, I think it'd be really funny and really good. And yeah, then there's then, something to then, watch. Yeah, but then people see our faces and don't watch our videos. <laughs> <laughs> just put a mask on. <laughs> You've seen your chin. You've got, we've, got, <laughs> we've got a stormtrooper mask somewhere. <laughs> put it on. <laughs> <laughs> Stop talking. Get one of those uh, Darth Vader masks from yeah. uh, Toys R Us. Start no. doing Darth Vader voice over the top. Are you nervous about your face? Like, it wouldn't bother me. <laughs> Would if you saw your face. <laughs> Cheers, mate. What a douche. So, welcome back to Bad of the yeah, Ranger. Yeah, Bad of the Ranger. I'm the Bad. I'm the Ranger. So, this episode <clears throat> is about. Star Wars. Star Wars. We're talking a few things about Star Wars. We're going to talk about. The new films, we're going to be talking about Disney taking over. Um, we're going to be talking, because we've been at a couple of the midnight releases, we're going to talk about that, what we thought. Uh, we've and our, we- love, our general love for Star yeah, Wars. What we thought about the, the newer film, so um, episode 7, I forgot the name, Force Awakens. Mate. I forgot the name there. So you're knocking out. And uh, Rogue One, we'll talk about what we thought about them no, quickly. Definitely. And then at the end, we're ranking all of our Star Wars as an order, all eight of them. Which, let's be honest, that's... Well, that was it. It was what you came for. Yeah, that's that, what you came that, for. That's what'll be in the title. That'll be at the end. So yeah, oh, again, mate. another hook. Which oh mate. You in. Oh, don't do one of those clickbait. We shouldn't be. Yeah, ah, mate. Ranking the Star Wars in order. Not what you think. Oh my God, gone sexual, gone wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what was that? <laughs> Who was that? Um, is it H three H three ripped into that one? Yeah, for like it, it's like clickbait and it's like basically a girl with a boobs out yeah. or something and then you go on the video and it's nothing at all literally doesn't yeah. even involve it Hatry Hatry is so funny he, Sh- when he shout out to Hatry Hatry we'll probably never in a million years yeah. watch any of our videos but you know but what? if you ever do mate shout out alright mate how you uh, how's it going <laughs> <laughs> I was those, uh, how's it going I was, I was absolutely savage towards yeah. people going don't rip us apart <laughs> yes. actually no rip us apart it's time to start <laughs> <laughs> just like absolutely no mate rip us apart for the publicity well, yeah. like, mate imagine that Oh yeah, mate. I'm gonna send this to. I'm gonna send this to you. It's like that whole thing of, mate. I'll let Floyd Mayweather beat me up for a tenner. <laughs> Do you know, like, well, I don't know like for a tenner. Hundred million dollars, like, um, Conor McGregor's getting yeah. fighting him. I just think, mate, do what you want to me yeah. for hundred quid. Get yeah, like <laughs> back to me. I'm mate. not bothered. I'll get you. Maybe your... not for hundred quid. I think maybe a bit more than that, bro. Oh, he might either. kill me. Hundred. <laughs> he could kill you in one punch. Floyd Mayweather couldn't kill you. Two was one punch, a solid punch. He's open. a good boxer, but he's not an he's not a knockout boxer. It's not his it's not his game. I he's think, a point boxer. Yeah, but the power that he can get behind his punches. He, surprise! Mate, no, he couldn't kill you with his gloves on. Not yeah, no. Nah. He knock mm, you out. No, nah. but bare knuckle he'd definitely kill you. Yeah, but he's not bare knuckle fighting Conor McGregor. <laughs> <laughs> Just back her. Yeah, but you know what? <laughs> he could. If I saw him on the street and he's like, "Give us hundred pounds and I'll batter you," I'd be like, "No, you'll kill me." Well, yeah, I wouldn't let him batter me but I'd go in a boxing ring with him and he'll batter you yeah but he wouldn't kill me this is my point mate have you seen Rocky 4 Creed dies Apollo Creed because he's fighting about 7 foot Russian <laughs> we're talking about Floyd Mayweather is like 5 foot 11 yeah you're like 5 foot 6 <laughs> yeah 5 foot 5 <laughs> but, he'd yeah. fucking kill you I'm still mate Conor McGregor's only human you know if you get hit in the right place anyone will get knocked out and also killed Mate. I'm telling you now, even with gloves on, there was a chance that Mayweather would right. kill you. One punch. Even though about two people watch our podcast. In a free punch. Comment below if you actually think, in a free punch with a glove on, you'd get killed by Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. If there's a chance. There's a chance anyone not would die from a de- anything. A decent chance. Say a, there's not a decent chance, mate. Say a 25% chance. Uh, Bloody hell, that tie. That's a not, one in four. Like, no. I mean... One in four punches. Full power. <laughs> To the noggin, wouldn't kill three, you. Three, no blockage. I reckon you've got a good chance one of you dying. One in four of them punches. Maybe not one in you. four, but a high chance. One in hundred, mate. I'd take that, mate. I'm telling you, one percent chance. Of, yeah, 
He definitely would. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. One, not one in four. Uh, maybe, maybe one in fifty, mate. Let's double that. One lines. in fifty. How hard do you think this guy hits? He's a professional boxer. Yeah, he's not a professional freaking. <laughs> I can't get my words out. He's not a professional. <laughs> Like, mate, it's just, he's got a boxing glove on for one. That's designed not, not to kill anyone. Yeah, but even with boxing gloves on, they can still knock out people who are boxers who have trained for this. Right. So me walking into the ring, just like, do you know, do you know what just I'll just be gone. We're five minutes in, we've talked more about boxing than we have about Star Wars. Right. <laughs> Forget we'll about write, that. We'll write, just write down in the comments, do you think Floyd Mayweather, a free punch with boxing gloves on, would kill you? I have like a, a half decent chance to like kill you. I'll tell you. I reckon he could. That's why Tom doesn't have a clue. Mate, who's the one with more GCSEs? Who's the one with any GCSEs, I used bro? to go boxing, mate. Mate, I went to boxing for like two weeks, bro. Can you not see the guns? Yeah, well, I went for like six months. Well, but you give up because you got battered. <laughs> There's no one in your weight class. No, like... I genuinely was like on the verge of, um, like he said, he, he wanted me to start like getting into fights and all that. And then you Never went yourself. again. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to uh, well, I'll set you up next week for fight. All right. Never. No, he was like, oh, you, you're like, you know, you're, you're pretty good at it. Like, I want you to start, like, getting into, like, fights. Oh, I don't think it's for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> no, I'm not like, coming anymore. My dad was like, well, I was like, oh, it's not for me. Nah. Man. <laughs> Didn't tell him what the fight. Just like, nah, it's not Didn't for me. Didn't tell him I was having to spar with a lad. Yeah. He was going to knock me out. He's been <laughs> boxing for two years. <laughs> anyway, right. right. Star Wars. We're six minutes 40 in. Bloody hell. We haven't even talked about Star Wars yet. People who first come to this podcast are just going to not watch this. Yeah. Well, I don't like, know. No, they might be boxing fans. Not even talk about Star Wars. Yeah, but there might be Star Wars and boxing fans. You don't know. We might have tapped into a very niche genre. And they're like, holy shit, these are the best people in the world. We love you. <laughs> welcome, Whoever lads. you are. You're welcome, lads. So, anyway. let's, let's crack on. Right. So, Star Wars. Yep. What, what, what can't we say about this? It's like... Arguably I'd the say best. it is my favourite film series of all time. Oh, 100%. Easy. 100%. Beats Lord of the Rings, beats everything. Yeah. Un- like, not even, like, I hate when people like, oh, Star Wars or Harry Potter, I'm like, go away. I, I do like, like, Harry, I do like Potter. Harry Potter, but I'd still say Star Wars is probably better. Like where, like I just think, well, not probably better. Star Wars is better. There's a proper cult following as well for Star Wars, isn't I mean, there? There's a cult following for tons of things. Though. Yeah, no, but you can't... Star Wars. Yeah, is yeah, a yeah. Big but I'm deal. saying, yeah, no, yeah, like, do you know what a mean? big deal. But like, so just kind of going <clears throat> off the bat. Oh, bloody hell. We've been to some midnight releases, haven't we? Yeah, we well, went, the newer ones. Went to Rogue One and Force Awakens. And Force Awakens, yeah. Episode no, we didn't go to midnight releases for Rogue One. Oh, no, we didn't because we were one in two, but we ended up going the day of release, didn't we? Not yeah. midnight release, but the day of Dressed but still, up. I didn't I dress was, up. I was dressed up as a, a star fighter, like no, Poe Dameron. No, you were dressed up as Poe Dameron because you had the orange jumpsuit type, type thing on. Yeah, but yeah. she's a star fighter. Yeah, but, yeah, but you, you were meant to be Poe Dameron. Well, yeah. Yeah. Obviously, I didn't look like yeah. Paul Dameron. No, nah, he's but, an ugly cunt. Yeah, hey, mate, I got some compliments. Yeah. Uh, well, no, I think your brother was best dressed in dark small. Oh, my my little brother like did his own painting. If on his I remember, face. I might put a fi- I might put a picture up. Do you know of oh, all yeah. of you dressed up? Oh yeah, no, hundred percent. If if I remember, mate, it's my background on my phone. Well, yeah, well, send me it. Yeah, just yeah. All right, yeah, I see it. Send just send. Wait, wait, who's that cunt there? What him? <laughs> No, I'm talking to you. Yeah, no, I'm looking at you, you dafty. All right. <laughs> I was like, my brother. I was like, my brother. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we all... Yeah, there we... might be a photo up now if future Tom remembers when editing this. Future Tom. So, we went to a midnight release for Force Awakens. What did you think of Force Awakens? I loved it. I, loved I know it. a lot of people said it was a rehash of A New Hope, all that. Which... Yeah, yeah. It, it, was, it was, but wait. I still had a fun time with the film. I still had a really fun time It was time a really hard decision, you know... I think you're trying to... There's two different types of audiences. There's people who grew up with the originals. Yeah. Who are very hard to please when it comes to any Star Wars films because they hate the prequels that much. Yeah. That they're just like, anything you do now will never be as good as the original. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And then there's people who grew up with the prequels who are like, why does everyone hate the prequels so much? Do you know what I mean? So you're trying to... And then there's people who've actually never seen Star Wars. Which I think... Episode 7 was really good to introducing a new generation who've never seen Star Wars in a Star Wars because your wife, my sister, Beth, doesn't even like, doesn't Star, Wars. like Star Wars. She liked Episode 7. Yeah, she thought it was a good film. So it's like, I think it's a good getting in point. Yeah, no, definitely. Like a good jumping in I, point. I really liked it. I thought the actors that they picked were mint. Ah, yeah, I really liked Daisy Ridley. I've got a little bit of a crush on her. 
Oh my days. Come on. You can't not have a little bit of a one. Well, she's pretty, yeah, but... Oh, she's pretty. Oh, don't be a dickhead. I'm, I'm not. Don't. You're making it sound like a... Like a come on. You what? definitely would. No, she's good looking. That doesn't, I don't have to fancy everyone who's good looking, you know. There's loads of girls that are good looking in the world. Don't fancy them. Don't have to like them, mate. I can just think someone's good looking. You can just appreciate someone for their features. You're yeah, but she's also person. like the main actress in Star Wars right now, so it just kind of makes me love her. She's very masculine. Not really. Oh, joking. Like, what? His face is brought a turn. Well, I was there. like, eh? How is she? I tell you what I did like, though. John Boyega. John Boyega, yes. Oh, my God. I, I, I love him. Like, he's in, um, I, I saw him before he was even in, in Attack of the Block. Oh, oh I've he, never watched it. I've never yeah, he's in, he's in Attack of the Block. Is he good in that? Yeah, he like plays like a cockney, like gangster. Not gangster, but like little twat on the street. Yeah, I thought, I thought every, uh, even to the point of like, BB-8, the drive. Yeah, I think they did a really um, good job with everything. Hilarious. Yeah, where he yeah. puts the flame thumbs up and oh, all that. Oh, mate, it was... Uh, I, yeah, oh, I, I think don't... it was a really good for what they needed to do because they needed it to be a decent film so everyone was like, oh my gosh, it's the prequels all over again. But they needed it to be um, like an easy point to jump on for new people because it is 10, 15 years later or whatever. Yeah. 15 years later. So they needed it to be able for new people to jump on. They also needed to please the older fans yeah. with throwbacks. They needed to do so many things. I think for what they needed to do, they did the best they kind of could have. Oh, because 100%. the hardcore fans say it's just a rehash of episode four, but their new fans are saying it's unreal. They, for what they did, they made a good film for what they needed to make. I think people are too harsh on Star Wars films. I, I do. I, 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 there's, there's points that I completely I, agree with. Yeah, I think some films deserve the hate, which we'll get into but, later on. I do think there's some things where I'm like, come on. Yeah. Like, give them a break. Do you know yeah. what I mean? But I, I loved, it's no secret that I absolutely love Kylo Ren. Yeah. I absolutely love Kylo Ren. I think he's class. FN2187. FN2187. I, I, I just absolutely love, I love everything about, I love that he's actually just secretly like this young lad who's really on the doesn't yeah, he know was what conflicted. Side. I really liked how they used light in the film. Do you know when he, oh, yeah, first, when he had spoiler a alert. Just in case you haven't watched the film. I'm, I mean, you're watching a Star Wars podcast. You're going to be a nerd watching this. You've 100% watched the film, but just in case. Yeah, just in case you haven't. Spoiler. Whatever yeah, reason. Yeah, whatever. When uh, he's got, like, a red yeah. and a blue side. And he's, and then when he kills Han Solo, it, like, goes, goes fully red, red. Which I think is just a really good play. He's like, I need you to help yeah. me with something. Yeah. He's like, anything. <laughs> and then I love how he just pushes him off the edge. Yeah, well, no, he doesn't. He does? He doesn't. He no, him off the no, edge. like, he, like... Because Han Solo like, grabs onto his face, doesn't he? But he doesn't push him, he just falls back. No, no, dead. no. I'm telling you right now, he uses his hand and pushes he him He does forward. not. He does he not. He does. How much do you want to bet? I'll bet a pound. I'll bet more than that. Well, no, I'm not going to... I don't have more than that, mate. I'll bet a pound, though. Do you even have a quid? Yeah. <laughs> Where? In my wallet right now. There. He's morded. <laughs> I mean, when you have one pound. All right, in the quid. All right. No, what are you doing now? I'm bringing it up, bro. No. No, we can talk. Keep talking. I'm just going to YouTube it now. I'll put it on silent. I just want to see. Right, okay. Go on, then. Anyway, keep talking about Star Wars. Well, I can't talk now. I'm, I'm waiting for this YouTube clip. It guaranteed. He, he touches he him off. He does not, mate. I'm telling you now. He does. He right. Does. Uh, Kylo Ren. I'm done, mate. Kylo Ren kills... Han Solo. Han Solo. Boom! 100%, 100 does. I'm to, mate, bloody hell, 99 plus notifications on YouTube. What's Who's going on there, bro? Is it man? Yeah, Josh. Oh, I don't have a clue, mate. I'm telling you now, he does not push him off. He does? I'm telling you right I'll now. I'll put it on silent because we don't need to listen to it. Uh, right, keep talking about what we were talking about. What were we talking about? Just Force Awakens in general. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, yeah, I thought it was pretty good. What about Rogue One? We'll move on to Rogue One while this Rogue is Rogue One off. is mint. It's, Rogue I One. I thought it was unreal. Rogue One was mint. I thought, I thought it was really good because it was different. I thought they did a min job. Right, we've got um, Kylo Ren. We'll first fast forward it a bit. Mate, we're going to have to... I know we just talked about Rogue yeah. One, but we have to. I need to... I'm, I'm making yours. a quid of you, so, you know... You're having a laugh, aren't you? Right. Wait for it. Wait, Wait for, for it. it. Boom. Boom. Kills him. Right. Yeah, he does watch. not push him now off. Now watch. Watch, he nudges him off. Watch. Right, I'm watching. He does not. Watch. Right. I'll have it up on screen now for you. By the way, we'll be watching the exact same thing if future Tom remembers. What? Right. You ready? Watch his hand. Right. No. Look. Watch his hand. Yeah. Watch his hand. I'm watching. I'm watching, bro. Watch it. Look, he grabs onto his face. No, watch, 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 watch. 
You ready? Nothing. Nudge! Oh! Sit down! The fridge! No. Josh is right! He nudges he him He freaking well. nudges him! Peel up your mug! Mate. Eat the quid, bro. He actually nudges him as and well. And it calmed down because it's genuinely half two in the morning. That's <laughs> devastating. That's that he nudged him. There's a pound. There's a pound. Hey, and he flicks it. He actually Heads. nudges him as well. Motherfucker. Right, yeah. Right, anyway, well, we'll get back onto the regular. That was just to prove a point. Yeah, <laughs> god damn it. Get I'm, I'm a down. I'm never doing this podcast again. God I'm losing money. Get in there. Right, I was, well... Anyway, yeah, I was just smug man. Yeah, we'll talk about Rogue One. Yeah, so Rogue One, I thought it was meant. Yeah. Do I even need to mention the end scene? Oh. I think it's the best think... scene in Star Wars ever. Think oh, about it. So think about it. No, 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 you can't say that. Uh, it's what... not the most iconic. No, I'm not saying iconic. I'm saying... What, what, what My favourite, but yeah. not the best scene. Yeah, well, Because everyone knows the best scene's Luke and Darth Vader. No, yeah, it's good, yeah. I'm saying, but the coolest. How about the coolest? Oh, please. And you, because you never really when, when, in, the, in the in the originals, you never really get to see that. Uh, it's yeah. like, like obviously he's he's ominous, but you, because of the technology and how it was back then, you just don't see him. But initially, you see yeah, him. Yeah, mate. Like when it's just dark and you just see the, and then and the red light, light him. Mate, do you know what it is? It's the way he's just using one hand to cut yeah. through them all, and the other hand is just like, oh, mate, it's just. And so he deflects one of the bullets but back in, and, and hits uh, one. drags the guns off them, yeah. pins one up against the water, like, slices him, slices him yeah. as he goes past, and they're trying to pass on the thing, and yeah, you're like, just take it, take it. Oh, mate, it's just, and he's just carving through them. Like, yeah, he is just, yeah. It's absolutely it was, insane. Zoom, zoom. And, like, I thought, I thought, like, who's the main act- actress who plays, um, Daisy Ridley? No, no, it's not Daisy Ridley. Not Daisy, we were just talking about her. Oh, yeah, what is she called? One. Yeah. I don't know her name, but I completely forgot. Oh my gosh. Anyway. Anyway, she was really good. Yeah. I thought she played it uh, really well. I thought all of the, the droid in that. Yeah. Mint. The, uh, I the, forget what he's called. Yeah, but, but the reworked, like, because he wasn't an Imperial droid, wasn't he? Yeah. No, or I thought Imperial he was funny. Droid. He had yeah. a lot of funny moments. He was dead good. I just thought... Did, the way it was different, but you just still knew it was Star Wars. Yes, it was like very different in the fact it kind of felt like a war movie, and not like a, a action CGI adventure was type. Mint. Yeah, the the like X wings. I have like my soul is X wing. I Bear. love them. And w- the, when they're fighting up in the oh my gosh, I'm like I was sat there in the seat. Uh, it I was had, a like, very a, good space battle to be. Oh, good. and they were using like um. Like the call signs, and then that one dies for Luke. Red so, five. Yeah, I loved the little links. Yeah, just I like little thing. Obviously, there's the big links and all that. Everyone, stuff. right? Everyone was slating the CGI for Tarkin. It I wasn't. Th- it, it wasn't good, good, but like no, it was not. It was good. Agree. It was good, but it. I forgot what it's called. But there's this effect, and because you know it's fake, it's always going to look off. Yes, but but can it, I just say, my brother. Who has watched all the Star Wars in the past? Genuinely didn't know that was CGI until I mentioned it after the film. We went, "That was CGI." I was like, "Yeah." He was like, "Oh, I thought they just nicked some footage from like old because he knew he was dead." Yeah. Obviously, he was like, "I thought they just nicked some footage from like an old film and they managed to like." So, and I was like, "No." And he, so, for me, if if someone who's like, I mean, my brother's pretty clued up. He's not like a proper spaz. Well, if he didn't you know, know that was CGI, then maybe. Tw- no, he's twenty odd. Like he's watched all the Star Wars, and he thought it wasn't. Now, all right, okay. Leia I definitely looks CGI. Uh, yeah. Leia yeah. at the end definitely. But the thing is, like, you see, like the Tarkin thing. He had. He, he made he the film to, so much yeah. better. Yeah. No. Yeah. I'm. I'm not taking away from the film. I thought one. It was a really good try, and I think because I, I it just looked fake to me because I knew it was fake. If you know what I mean. Yeah. And that, like, you're never gonna get that out of your head. You got used to it though. Yeah. Yeah. Not that you were, oh, every time you go fake. Fake, fake, fake. But you just got used to it. I wish what they would have done instead of just doing face shots and face shots, because the longer you look at it, the more you're like, this is fake, this is fake. Which I wish they did in some scenes, like it kind of had his reflection against the window of the Death Star and stuff like that. I wish they would have just done them types of scenes and not really showed his face too much. Just because when you constantly look the face front on in the CGI, that's when it started, when it was like a longer scene. I loved it at the end though, when it was just like. What is this? And then later turned around and was like, Hope. Oh. Yeah, no, that was like, pretty good. I was like, like I had a little goosebumps. And then like, yes. Do you know what I loved? Where it was like, 
Du, 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 when it, yeah, it when it's just Darth Vader and he's like, like stood in like open space basically yeah. with a lightsaber. I'm like, you are the fucking don. Yeah. Like, I think it's mental savage. that that music didn't come in until Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, I know. Like we watch a New Hope, none of that mm, music yeah. comes in. You're waiting for it to come on. Yeah, and, and it just doesn't. doesn't. Yeah, I know. Which is mental. Anyway, so shot it in there. And there so what? Know. What? What are your thoughts about Disney taking over Star Wars then? I'm, 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 I think what the, for the two you what know what seen, I think they got far too much criticism before they were even given a chance yeah I think for the two that we've seen I'm confident in episode 8 I think it'll be good oh no 100% I've I like, think it'll be really good I do and I think like people like I said you know didn't really give them a chance and I do think they've proven quite a lot of people wrong yeah I think they've actually turned around and produced one very good kind of part of a new trilogy yeah and one very good spin off Star- yeah and it kind of, that's Rogue One kind of gives me more hope for the Star Wars solo film because that's going to also be like because everyone spin-off. was worried oh how they're going to do like a spin off but sort of yeah. connect it to well, the well they did Star a really Wars. good spin off with Rogue One so I kind of have hope no for a new hope I liked uh, yeah uh, I liked how they did the put Darth Vader in there but he wasn't in there too yeah. much he had like three scenes and I hate some reviews some morning that he wasn't in there enough and I was like you no. don't no it's a spin off film I wouldn't have in there as a link to the other films. That scene at the end was enough for me. Yeah. Oh, but I do love it. Go choke on your aspirations. It was a little bit yeah. cheesy. Oh, no, I loved it. But it was good. I loved it. it I was, thought yeah. it was class. It was a bit cheesy, but it was good. I enjoyed it. I was like, Darth Vader, you can say what you want, mate. You're still going to be a badass. Oh, mate. He's just a beast. But he is a bit cheesy, actually. You know, if you if you watch Darth yeah. Vader, he does make some kind of remarks. Puns. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, he does. I think he's funny, mate. I think, he la- I think he laughs to himself. <laughs> <laughs> you know what he said? He's like, you just hear a little... <laughs> a little cackle. I've got enough air! He yeah. doesn't talk like that. Like, I thought, yeah. I'm, what I'm also excited for about um, the new Han Solo film is Donald Glover. I have like a man born over Donald Glover. Oh, I remember you mentioned He's playing the younger uh, Lando Calrissian. Oh, that's going to be good. And I love Donald Glover. Anything he's in, Community, I love him in that. Uh, Atlanta, he directed that. He's like the producer on that, writer. And he's the main character in it. I think he's amazing. I, and I also like his music. He's Charles Gambino. He does like music as well. Anything he does, I'm like, I like. So I'm just excited for it. I just love people like that. You know, where you just like, I he, like everything he, he does. Like, I like everything he does. He's, and he's just such a cool person. He's like a nerd as, as well. And I'm like, I just like you. Yeah, that'll be that'll be quite nice seeing like a kind of Han Solo. It'll be interesting how they kind of portray yeah. Han Solo as a young, young person. I, like, I don't know how they're going to do it. I, I'm still apprehensive on it because I'm kind of like, eh. But, you're always going to be. But yeah. You can't always be like, it's going to be. Like, I'm still apprehensive about episode eight. I think it'll be good, but I'm still apprehensive because... It's a biggie, isn't it? Because yeah. episode, the middle episode is always like, how is this going to play they, out? Like, is is Kylo Ren going to come now. back a beast? You know, is Luke going to yeah, fight They've whoever? done the setup now. They don't have to get new people into it because they've got new people in for episode, because of episode seven. They don't have to link back as much because they've already linked back with episode seven. So the note continues on. They've done the opening with the new characters. Now they've introduced them. And got all that out of the way, so now we can get into the real stuff. We haven't talked about the title, The The Last Jedi. The Last Jedi. What do you think it means? Well, in the trailer, Luke kind of says, like, basically the time for the Jedi is over. Over, Because I think he realises you need a happy balance between the two. He said, because I think he thinks now, if there's there's going to be Jedi, there's always going to be Sith. Sith, I can't, I've got a list, all right. <laughs> like that, in case you didn't realise in these past that, however many that videos. word mugs me right off <laughs> sis the sis the sis oh you mother <laughs> go on tell me what is it the, the dark side you <laughs> <laughs> the dark side you there's always yeah. there's always going to be dark and light no you're right. Good and bad. you're right I think that's what he is now thinking to himself so he in his head if there's no more Jedi there's no more sis no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> like every time he says it, no, I, can't, I just cannot God take it. God damn it. Revenge of the... <laughs> Cunt. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think it's uh, kind of... Time to rank them in order. Time to rank them in order. Let them me off. get my phone up. Uh, d- you've got them this down. I've got them just up in my noggin. Oh, no, mate, I haven't. I 100% haven't. Well, do you want me to say my, my we'll least favourite one? Your, your least favourite, my least favourite. Yeah, alright, yeah. We'll go like go on. Right, my least favourite, episode one. Why? It is just awful. I can't watch that film and get a slight bit of enjoyment out of it. I don't even like the pod racing or anything. 
I do not get any enjoyment out of that film. None. None. I watched that film and it... The fight, Darth Maul. I get a slight bit of enjoyment out of the film. The Darth Maul fight. So that went from none to slight. In like two seconds. The Darth Maul bit is the only part I like of the film completely. The rest, I think, is just... it It doesn't need to be there. The whole film actually doesn't need to be there. You could not watch episode one. Just go straight to episode two and you're fine. Now, I agree with you on that, but my worst, Attack of the Clones. Episode two. Mate, and that was proven when we watched it with Paul. It was so it's bad. It's the most cringy film I have ever seen. Oh. Now, at least there's some good pits in front of Menace, like Darth Maul fight. Yeah. Name a good pit in Attack of the Clones. Roger, Roger. <laughs> <laughs> but like, bar last, bar less Jar Jar Binks, name a good factor. There isn't. Um, there isn't. Even the lightsaber fight scene's crap. I don't think Yoda should have started whacking out his lightsaber no, into Kong Dooku. Yeah. Yeah, but I... Oh, mate, actually. No. One nil. I, st- <laughs> I still think it's... I still think, think it's better this. than episode. I don't. I All just, right, it has less politics. I just, episode one, like at least I can watch episode two, and it's crazy. When was the last time you watched episode one? Like years ago. There you go. Think about when you last watched episode two. How bad it was when we yeah, watched it. Yeah, but yeah. So if we watch episode one, we'd be like, oh my gosh. At what least are we it's watching? not as cringy. Episode two is cringe fest. Yeah. With Anakin and Padme. It, no, it, yeah. It's well, anyway, cringe. let's get on our second worst. I think right, it on. might be vice versa there. Go on then. Episode two is my second worst. <laughs> episode uh, episode one's mine yeah. <laughs> because I think there is actually some right. I agree. Episode one is not a good film. But do you like the pod reason. racing and stuff? Like I that, actually like the pod race, and I think the Darth Maul fight scene is actually the second best lightsaber fight scene there is in Star Wars. I so, don't know. And that music. Oh yeah, that is that iconic. Is when them doors open and yeah. he's there, you are like, mate, this guy is a beast. Yeah, he's a savage. And there's and, and you wonder why they brought him back for um, the Clone Wars series yeah. and Rebels. Yeah. Because the guy's a beast. Yeah, he's just... So he's there that, you he's go. Well. If anything, from Phantom Menace, you've got Darth Maul, mate. Attack the Clones, you've got nothing. No. And it, well, I'd say Attack the Clones. I just think, overall, it's a better film. I see, like... I still know. think it's an awful film. Don't get me wrong, it is shit. It, you know what? It's, it's a hard decision. And it's it? a cringe fest. It's a pro- hard decision between yeah, them Yeah, because two. they're so, both so bad. Um, but I just, I think I'd be able to sit and watch. Like, if I had to pick, and it was the only film I could watch for the rest of my life, and I had to pick between one and two, I'd pick two over one. It's a difficult one. It's a difficult one. Third. Right, third would be episode six. Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi. Same. So, yeah. Like, I just I still, think, I think it, right, this is where it gets from. I think them two were shit. Now these are, I think these are good films. Well, yeah. I'm not saying they're bad. Even though it's third last, it's third last in the whole of Star Wars. Yeah. No, I agree. So, and I, I, I do like Return of the Jedi. It's a good film, obviously, ending of the original trilogy. I just it's think good. It's, it just has some points where you're like, why is that in here? Yeah. And I think it's, a, it's, it's definitely the worst out of the original trilogy. Like the Ewoks, I'm just like, yeah, the why Ewoks the Ewoks me? in there? Like, it's just things like yeah. that. And I, I, and I, just, just little things. Yeah, that just... little things throughout the whole thing, and like Leia, like when Han Solo says "I love you," and Leia says "I know." When I thought they should have just left it, Episode Five, when Han Solo did that, I thought that was funny, really good. It just annoyed me when she did it in the next one. Like, shut up, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about you. Han Solo's the one. Yeah, and it, I mean, it was very. The end of it was very re- reminiscent of a new hope. It was just. It... I don't know. I, I, I thought it was a good film. But Obviously, it wasn't reminiscent. I think they could have done so much more with the end of the I original I say reminiscent. Movie. Not really, but it is in the sense of, you know, the iconic space battle. And, yeah. But then, then there was like, I just feel like the Emperor could have died better. Yeah, instead of just falling down that thing. I don't know. It just seemed like a bit of an anti-climax. Yeah, yeah, an anti-climax. I think, still think it's a good film like we were saying. No, yeah. No, but definitely. an anti-climax. I was thinking, do you want to rate everyone out of ten? Yeah, but we didn't do that for... Well, we can do them now. No, I mean for the cards we should have done that. Oh, we should have done that for the cards, but we can't now. Anyway, we can chat it up on the screen. Oh yeah, uh, but, but do you want to do it for this? Yeah. Well, Ta- uh, your, your Phantom Menace. Phantom Menace, like one out of ten. Oh, mate, it's not that bad. Two out of ten. Attack the clones. Two out of ten. And then I'd say after that, two point five out of ten for Attack the clones. <laughs> Phantom Menace, three out of ten. Right, and then Return of the Jedi. I think it bumps up to about a five. 
out of ten. Average. No, six out of ten. So I was going to say six. Six, six out, out of ten. ten. A little bit above average. I enjoyed the film. It's right. a good film. Next one. Next one. This is when it starts to get hard. The, yeah, I this think. is when I had to start sinking. Episode four. And place uh, a new hole. A new hole. Oh. That's what you went for. That's what I went for. What did you go for? I'm having second thoughts about this. What did you go for? Rogue One. Because I loved it. But the ones ahead of it, I do think are actually better. I dare genuinely do. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. And, and that's not saying it's a bad film. I just think the ones above this yeah. are really good films. So that's why I've shot above it. And I think A New Hope... Like, I really like A New Hope. I'm not saying it's bad, obviously. It was like the first Star Wars. I just think when we went back and watched it, I found it a little bit boring. Mm. If you know what I mean. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a lot more dated than Empire yeah. Strikes Back. Like, and it? it feels so much more dated. Like, so much. And, like, I'm not saying it's still, a, like I said, a good film. But I'm going to have to, yeah, I'm going to agree with you. I'm going to shot a new hope. I, I just see, can't, see, yeah, I can't, I can't put Rogue One um, behind that. I, I, I just, when we went back and watched it, I was like, this is, this one is just a little bit more boring than I remember. No, I'm going to have to agree with you. I've changed my mind. Yeah, a new hope. I, out of 10, I'd give it a solid seven. Oh, seven out of 10. And I think for the first oh. hour's home, it was just brilliant. Yeah. Wasn't it itself, yeah. everything great. Yeah. It, it does br- everything right. No, no. It doesn't, no. it doesn't do anything wrong. Just, it is a solid film. Next. Next one. Now it's really hard. Like, this is when my brain's going over time. Oh, like, I've got one, but I'm going to say Rogue One now. I was going to say Rogue One. That's what I've swapped a new one. Yeah, all right. So, Rogue One, I just think it's a really good film, but I just don't think it's good enough to top the others that I've got on my list. Actually, no. No, I'm going to change it. Force Awakens. I think Mm. I prefer Rogue One over Force Awakens. I, I think... Force Awakens is a better Star Wars film than a program. I, well, that's your opinion, mate. It's your opinion. I think you're wrong. But thinking about it there, uh, I think um, Rogue One is better than Force Awakens, so I'm going to say Force Awakens now. No. Yes. Yeah. So you're yes. going to say what you're rating that? Uh, a 7. 7.5. Um, Force I'm going to rate it's Rogue One Actually, me. no. An 8. I really enjoyed Force Awakens. Yes! <laughs> Flipping. Flipping. I saw the little battery go whoosh. <laughs> <laughs> the little sound bar on the computer. Then. Prepare to fire. <laughs> you might, you might fire when ready. <laughs> Dude, that was like ridiculous. That was a bit of a savage sneeze. I'm not. I, I'm gonna give Fourth Awakens an eight out of ten. I give, really enjoyed it. I'm really give enjoyed it. One, an eight out of ten. It was a super fun film. Yeah. Now, Rogue One. No, no, now it's your next one. Yeah, Rogue One. I just said Force Awakens, now I'm saying Rogue One. Empire Strikes Back. I think Empire Strikes Back, as Star Wars films goes, is probably the best Star Wars film. As, like, yeah. you get everything in that. You get, like, um, you know, kind of all the action you want. Yeah. But you get the story and you get the massive, like... I mean, him going to dig about a Yoda. Yeah, and you get, and you a lot get of me character Yoda, progression. But then you get to meet, like, finally, you find out Darth Vader's Luke's father. Yeah. And so it's a massive. So as I, I'm not saying it's not the best well, Star Wars Because look, when film. we rate it, you're going to rate it high. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying, as me, you know, going back and yeah. watching it. And don't, my it's because we've watched them all quite recently. Yeah. So kind and of my little boy, it. Sam, absolutely loves Empire Strikes Back. I mean, he's only two, but all he watches is the fight team between Darth Vader and Luke. He absolutely yeah. loves it. So, but I'm shutting that there, and I'm going to give it a solid, like, 8.5 out of 10. Uh, what was mine again? <laughs> Rogue One, was Rogue it? One. Yeah. I'm going to give it a, an 8.5. Uh, I'm like, yeah, 8.5. You want 8.5? Yeah. Very good. Not, yeah, 8.5, yeah. Because I've got to leave leeway, because I'm not giving any of them 10 out of 10, because no. they all are problems. So I've got to give it leeway yeah. for the other ones. So I'm going to say 8.5. One. Um, Force Awakens, for me. It's the second that high. best. It's the second best. No, nah, I'd say... <laughs> Episode 3. I forgot its name. Revenge, Revenge of the Sith. <laughs> I was waiting for him to God say that one. God damn it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd say that one there. Oh, you know when you're regretting your decision? Yeah, I, think I can't believe you put Force Awakens that high. Force Awakens is behind. Empire Strikes Back. I've changed my mind. Have you? I keep changing my mind. I know. What have you done? Do you know what? I, ever since past Return of the Jedi, I've lost this. What are you doing, mate? 
No, yes. Like, so, I'll have a list on screen now, and the, yours will just be switching like that. No, yeah, no, no. Empire I'll definitely have back. a list on screen. Empire Strikes so Back is it. better than Force Awakens. That's me just getting a bit too excited, I think. Yeah. No, it is. But let me just talk about Force Awakens because I've already talked yeah. about Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. Empire Strikes Back's going back to a, up to a nine. Yeah. All right. For the, for I the like movie. it. You tell me, episode three, go on. It's a si- like, I give it shit. Because I lumped it in with the prequels. Because when I had last watched it, I was like 12. And I was like, blah, blah, blah. I, I just went with the crowd. Prequels. Blah. But when we went back and watched it again with Paul, which is our friend who had never watched Star Wars, we, made a, we, we didn't make him, but we sat and watched them all with him. Um, when I watched it, I was like, damn, this is a good film. Uh, like, uh, if you take out some of the cringy stuff again with Anakin and Padme. Do yeah, you know what? Attack of the Clones makes yeah. that cringy. Yeah. That's why. Because that's I can't, so well, Also, I just kind of blanked it out a little bit, if you know what I mean. Yeah. I, but It's nowhere near as bad as Attack of the Clones. the though. fight scene between Anakin and Obi-Wan just put it up there. Right, okay. Just put it up there. So, Force Awakens for me, I absolutely loved... Like, I mean, I know we've talked about it, but I, I thought it was... I genuinely loved that film when we went to see it. Yeah. yeah I, mean, I, I came out, I was buzzing. I was, I was buzzing. buzzing. Um, now, obviously, I know that's a lot to do with it's the first Star Wars film in so yeah. long and all that, but it was brilliant. Now, I know I have changed it down to, like, just below Empire Strikes well, Back. Well, like I was saying, we sh- I should have a list on screen, both yeah. side, Bad Ranger, list of the films. Yeah, no, definitely. And it'll be confusing because you'll yeah. be like, he's talking about this and then that's I'll it. have them switched and that's stuff That's why, like if you're still listening. Yeah. Leave final, a like for Tom and his editing. Final, if you can final one. You take yours first. Well, mine's going to be episode five. That's my last the one. The iconic one. Yeah. Oh, I didn't give Revenge of the Sith. Oh, yeah. Uh, written. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you so much. Right. Um, yeah. And nine. Uh, Force Awakens. 8.75. Force Awakens 10.5 because my um, yeah. Empire Strikes Back nah. is nine. I'm going to give Revenge of the Sith 8.75. I don't think it's a nine. But I think it's a good film. Right, okay. So Empire Strikes Back. I'd give it a 9.5 out of 10. A high rate in that, isn't it? You just can't go. I mean, you, you can't go wrong with. That's it. what I'm saying. You just can't go wrong with that film. It's a classic, isn't it? Yeah, it's just and like it's a lot of people's favorite Star Wars film, and it might seem like I'm bandwagoning, him, but it's, it's it's people's favorite for a reason. You just is, can't go it wrong is. with it. It's just so good. Now, mine's probably a bit out there. Out there. Not out there, but Revenge of the Sith. I genuinely can watch that film a million times. I absolutely love it. Yeah, I, no. th- I genuinely think. That fight scene between Anakin and Obi Wan is by far the best lightsaber fight. It's so fight. good, and then it's interlinked with Yoda against the Emperor. The Emperor, and that's when I think um, Yoda. Oh, Yoda should have first used his yeah. lightsaber. Not I, I think in Dooku. Episode Two he should have just kept, you know, with his old in the walking stick slow, and then in that one he just turns into a jumping about slicing. Yeah, that's and being like, and everyone's like, "Holy shit!" It's that bit where he goes, "If so powerful you are." Why leave? And yeah. you just think because the, the emperor tries to get out, and yeah. he's just like, "What do you think you're going?" Like even the emperor knows this is <laughs> this is motherfucking Yoda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and 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 what I love about the Anakin and Obi Wan fight is it's just like in their prime. Yeah, like and it's so it. raw. Oh, like, if you mate. know what I mean. Oh, and when like people are like, "Oh, it's that. so it's so like um, what what do they call it? Like where it's so like can you not touch me again? Nah, I just touched his knee there. Just that like, proper gear." I, no, like, he started stroking up towards my belly. No, I definitely didn't. Like, I just touched me. Like, no, but it's... This pe- is why we need a camera. People so are like... give it to the police. <laughs> <laughs> He's raped me, I swear. What do people say? What do people call the prequels? It's so... The fight Shit. scenes. No, the... the... Oh, like, I, I do think in the fight scenes, I don't feel the weight behind the fight. Well, that's it. It's not in very weird. In episode weird. seven, I felt a lot of weight. You know, but, hitting, it felt like, bam, but bam. I feel like... The reason it's so good in episode six is uh, three, sorry, because it's they're in their prime and they're going at it and like it's no secret Anakin's my bear. <laughs> in, in, in number three, he's a beast. Like, yeah, he is a you monster. can tell it. You can tell he's a beast when, he's, when he gets on the yellow eyes. The everyone knows as well. Like this lad's like this. Yeah, he's a even dog. and I love it because even the emperor knows it. Even yeah. the emperor goes. You will not stop me. Darth Vader will become more powerful than either of us. Yeah. And you just know, if Anakin wasn't so damn ag- arrogant... Yeah, he would be the best. He would be the but most he, powerful. But he needed that come down 
to make him not arrogant because as Darth Vader is cool headed not arrogant at all really yeah but I genuinely believe he wouldn't that be like that carried on he would have beaten yeah. Obi-Wan 100% if, if he didn't have the high ground <laughs> oh, don't get me started on that he could have literally just took a step forward yeah. and went into the I have him. the high ground Anakin but he did that to aggravate him to get him to do it yeah because he knew oh what I'll do is I'll push his buttons get it's him to like, try and jump over get him to jump over and then I'll beat him because I think I, well Obi-Wan obviously jumped away because he was thinking I need to kind of get out yes. of this because the more it was getting closer and closer Obi-Wan obviously he's all he's and very and defensive he's not as athletic as yeah. Anakin Anakin's very aggressive and just aggressive, raw aggressive, power aggressive, and aggressive. strength well if you look if you look the first fight with Cam Duke in number two Anakin lasted longer than Obi-Wan yeah. even though they both got beat number three Anakin beat Cam Dooku Obi-Wan couldn't Obi-Wan yeah. got bit straight off the bat do you know what I mean? It's, it's like, and I just think, I know there's a whole argument of the Sith, uh, like Darth Sidious is holding the country. No. Anakin overpowered Count Dooku, I don't care what you say. <laughs> but like, and I, I think Obi-Wan knew that if it's going to carry on like this, I'm going to lose. Yeah. So he, but fair play, he was smart, out, outsmarted yeah, him. Out, which is why which he is, won. Yeah. Which is why he won. Um, and obviously, when they're fighting a new hope, I think he knew as well, ultimately, Darth Vader would have beat him there. Yeah. Because Obi-Wan's old, he's not as... Darth Vader is, was more powerful than Obi-Wan there, I think, as well. Yeah. So, but that's our rankings. That's stars. our rankings. They should still be all on screen, so you can have a look through. I know mine kind of hopped all over the... But in my defence, it's not an easy But what's on decision. screen now, what you see is, is, is what order. it is. So, I just want to say, before we finish, that we should be about a month in now. Nate, we didn't do... Um, we didn't... Talk about your YouTube channel last. <gasps> but my, my, oh my gosh! I'm I can't you, believe you've done this. You'll miss out on a few viewers. Well, no, it? one sec. Let me just. So by the time this one comes out, I'm guessing we've been. It should be about a month. Like we've been uploading for about a month. Yeah. I just want to know. Write down in the comments if you're watching this, everyone. Like no matter who you are, I don't care. Write down in the comments what we can improve on because obviously, it's not to going to be the best podcast ever. No. No. I, like listening back to it, we all we always pick out little stuff. Like we always interrupt each other, talk over each other. Yeah. It, it's just because we're not used to it. And it's like our first time trying it. It's because I think because we're just having a conversation. Yeah. And a lot of time I forget what we're even talking yeah, about. Yeah. We can't. We, we, we look at each other and just hopefully the mic picks it up. Yeah. Well, I think it's a natural way. If I was just, yeah. I can't just sit and stare and talk yeah. into the mic. Well, I think if we get another mic though, I think we should get it so we sit across from the desk at each other. So we are looking at each other, but with a mic in front of us. It'll work out better. It it sounds so much better. Even though I think it sounds fine, I think it sounds so much no, better. No, it would it would hundred percent sound better. But, but yeah, get, get like I was saying, just it. leave in the comments things we can improve on. What what you think we do good, what we do bad. If you like our ramblings, if we should stop rambling what, and stick what, to the notes. Maybe some suggestions on what you'd like us to talk yeah, about. Yeah, because we we know a lot of nerdy stuff. We Nerd, can talk like, like we can talk a lot about comic books. Well, I can anyway. I'll carry that podcast. Comic we don't, books. We don't stuff. mind talking about a bit of anime. Anime. As we can talk about. Yeah. Well, no, <laughs> I, 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 I can about. take over uh, yeah. some other anime. You know, yeah. uh, Lord of the Rings because we've just we watched one of them tonight. Yeah. Uh, uh, just vi- any computer games in general. Yeah. Yeah. Video. Yeah. We know like pretty much all computer games. Exactly. Like so. just write down in the comments what we can improve on, what you'd like to see from us in the future, and just stuff like that. So. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. We still haven't got a sign yeah, out. We you know what? I, I quite enjoy that. No, I, I enjoy just. Uh, it's more natural, just ending. Yeah. Like how it's going to end right now. Yeah. Just, just.